Eventually, I closed my eyes, and the rumbling water heater turned into the warble of tires on pavement. My eyes snapped open, and I was sitting back in the taxi cab. Besides the engine and the sounds of the tires on the road, everything was dead quiet. Sitting there, Rachel was looking over at me and putting her hand on my leg, giving me that small smile that showed she knew I was hurting. Your mom was out of line, she began, taking in a deep breath before continuing. Look, little bear, I'm giving you explicit instructions. Except that I'm gone. I want you to go have fun. Enjoy every second of it. You have my blessings. I opened my mouth to object, but she put her finger over my lips. Go have fun. It's an order. She knocked on the window and told the driver to pull over, and for reasons I couldn't explain or control, I got out of the car and watched her drive off. I was standing in front of a brick building, whose outline resembled a church, and inside I could hear barking, snarling dogs. And for the unknowing logic that makes anyone behave the way they do in dreams, instead of running away, I calmly pushed open the double doors that smelled like gravy left out too long and walked inside thankfully waking up before I could see what kind of creatures were making those howling sounds. The Light Rail by Joseph McAvoy Available for purchase on Kindle and Amazon Direct